The Orlando Magic are coming off a season that blew anybody's expectations out of the water. We saw this team finish as a top five seed in the Eastern Conference. They finished with a record of 47 and 35, and this team nearly knocked out the Cleveland Cavaliers in a first round playoff matchup series that went all the way down to the wire in a game seven. And this Magic team is poised for a breakout season in 2024-25. And I'm gonna be talking about not just how this Orlando Magic team is going to be a bona fide playoff team this upcoming season, but how this team can go from a playoff team to becoming a contender this upcoming season. Now Magic fans, before we go ahead and get into today's video, if you guys please could, go ahead and drop me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that we do here on YouTube, and make sure that you guys also go ahead and follow me, Brett James, and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials, especially on Twitter. We're both very active and we're on there every single day. But now let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now I think anybody who has followed the NBA closely and the Orlando Magic over these last three to four seasons would easily tell you Jamal Mosley has been the turning point in the success of this organization since coming over as an assistant from the Dallas Mavericks to the Orlando Magic back in 2021. When Jamal Mosley inherited this team, Jeff Wellman in the Orlando Magic front office blew this team up. They traded the roster away and they absolutely gutted it by trading away both Evan Fournier, Nikola Vucevic, and Aaron Gordon. And Jamal Mosley had to inherit a team that had to work its way back up, establish a culture, build a defensive identity, and to keep this court intact as well as developing your young court and players. And Jamal Mosley has done just that and then some. Every single year, you saw this Orlando Magic team improve in the win column and especially on both the defensive side of the ball as well as the development of their young talented players. They went from a 22 win team in Jamal Mosley's first year as the head coach of the Orlando Magic to 34 wins to this past season, 47 wins, locking up a top five seed in the Eastern Conference and of course, Jamal Mosley was rewarded with a contract extension, which was well-deserved. I had the opportunity to ask Jamal Mosley earlier this year after he had gotten his contract extension about the continuous growth of this core and of this team since he had taken it over back in 2021. And here is what Jamal Mosley had to say about this core sticking intact since 2021. Jamal Mosley stated, well, enough cannot be said to Jeff Weltman, his group, and the organization for being willing to stick with this process of guys improving and growing and developing. Us as coaches, our job is to help develop guys to get them better. And to be able to keep that same group together is big. Guys coming in understand exactly what they are expected to do. The program that we've put in place, the way in which we work every single day, was the same at 22 wins as it was at 34 wins as it is now. So the way in which we show up every single day will be the same in wins and losses. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a coach who knows what he's doing, who has established a culture and an identity here in Orlando. And that is exactly why you saw him not only get a contract extension this past season, but why he was second in the voting for Coach of the Year candidacy only behind Mark Dagnall of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Jamal Mosley has been rewarded as the USA Select Team's men's basketball head coach for back-to-back -back seasons now, and he is one of the best young premier coaches in the game of basketball who has earned his respect, put his time in, and has now blossomed into one of the best coaches in the NBA. Now the front office of the Orlando Magic, they did a phenomenal job this off season, both Jeff Weltman and Anthony Parker of keeping this core intact while also still accumulating talent via free agency and through the draft. And it started in the draft when the Magic selected Ford from the University of Colorado, Tristan De Silva. This is a kid at 23 years of age who comes in with a ton of collegiate basketball experience as he played four years at the University of Colorado and in today's modern NBA, you need versatile forwards on the wings to match up with these bigger athletic guys on the wings, especially on the New York Knicks and especially on the Boston Celtics. You are now gonna be able to have more depth at the wing position and guys that can really be versatile one through four. And I trust a guy like Tristan Da Silva 
at 23 years of age. I'm not sure how much minutes he's gonna be getting in his rookie season. Expect him to get a lot of reps in Osceola, something that we saw a lot from Jet Howard last season. But Tristan De Silva, this is a kid who can space the floor immediately for this Orlando Magic team. He's gonna come in, play unselfishly, hustle on the defensive side of the ball. You can bring the ball up the court, initiate the offense, and really play off of one another. This is a kid who is going to be a cornerstone piece for the success of this Orlando Magic team for years moving forward. And the Magic, they did not stop there. They went ahead and retained a bunch of key free agents on their roster. Guys like Goga Bataze, who got a three-year, $25 million contract. Gary Harris, two years, 15 million. And Mo Wagner, two years, 22 million. They went ahead and they extended Franz Wagner on a five-year, 224 rookie max contract extension. They extended Jonathan Isaac, the Minister of Defense, five years, 84 million, and they went ahead and they brought in two free agents in Contavious Caldwell Pope and Corey Joseph. So now, when you look at the core intact with this team, the defensive identity and the culture that has been set in place with Jamal Mosley and this team, you've got Jalen Suggs and Contavious Caldwell Pope in your backcourt, which I will address a little bit later on. You've got Franz Wagner and Paolo Bancaro, arguably the best young duo under the age of 23 in the NBA. Paolo, who was just an all-star in his second season in the NBA, and Franz Wagner, who's looking like he may be at an all-star level going into year four after the show that he's been putting on for his country in Germany at the Olympics so far and you have Wendell Carter at the five. And then off the bench, you've still got plenty of depth with this team that can go out there and fire away at any second unit in the game of basketball. Cole Anthony needs to get back into form. He had his ups and flows last year, but I expect him to continue to get back into form. You've got Jonathan Isaac, one of the best, if not the most versatile defenders in the game of basketball. He appeared in the most games, 58 last season. Since he has, since 2018-19, we know how injury riddled Jonathan Isaac has been, but what he proved last year when he was on the court, how valuable he is for this team, he deserved that contract extension and you make sure you keep your guys locked up and secure. And still off the bench, you're gonna have Anthony Black and Jet Howard. We'll see how many minutes they are gonna get in their second year in the league. And then you've still got Mortiz Wagner, you've got Goga Bataze, and you've got Gary Harris as depth insurance pieces when you need them in a pinch. They have done a very good job of rounding out this roster and continuing to fortify on the defensive side of the ball. And that's exactly where I wanna go to with this next talking point. We've talked about Jamal Mosley, how he's been an incredible young coach. We've talked about the depth and how well this front office has done drafting and really accumulating talent these last couple of years. Now let's talk about how the defensive identity of this team is gonna be able to match up with anybody in the Eastern Conference from the Boston Celtics, from the Philadelphia 76ers, the Milwaukee Bucks, anybody you wanna name, including the New York Knicks. This Magic team can not only compete with these teams, this Magic team can go out there and win a series with the top teams in the Eastern Conference. Now, the biggest move for the Orlando Magic this offseason was clearly signing Contavious Caldwell Pope from the Denver Nuggets to a three-year, $66 million contract to bring him here to Central Florida. And this is going to be a guy who is going to tremendously bolster this Orlando Magic team on the offensive side of the ball. But defensively, he continues to fit the identity and the culture of this Orlando Magic team. He's gonna bring that championship pedigree. He has that veteran leadership about him, both on and off the court. And I'm telling you right now, through my interactions with KCP, this is going to be a seamless fit and a match made in heaven for this young core, for this team that wants to ascend into a championship contender and as a team that is looking to absolutely dominate in 2024-25. And with KCP, this is a very durable and reliable player, a guy who you know is gonna give you 110% night in and night out and is gonna show up when the lights are the brightest. KCP is a career 42.7% shooter from the field, 36.9% shooter from behind the arc, and he's appeared in 835 games since entering the NBA back in 2013-14. That's more than any other player in the NBA since that span. And at 31 years of age, KCP these last two seasons for the Denver Nuggets has appeared in 76 games both seasons and has eclipsed 40% shooting from behind the arc these last two seasons. He's been nothing short of spectacular for the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Lakers in his time there. Continuing to talk about KCP and his ability to shoot from the outside, we know 
Orlando struggled mightily last season, shooting from the outside. That was absolutely their Achilles heel. When you take a look at what KCP is going to be able to help do for this Orlando Magic team, he's going to help them take another jump, offensively speaking, from three-point range. If you take a look at what Orlando was last year in the regular season, they were 22nd in offensive efficiency, 26th in three-point shooting, and they were tied for dead last and three pointers made per game. And if you look at the postseason, in those seven games that the Magic played versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, Orlando was fourth worst in three pointers made and third worst in three point percentage. KCP is gonna do wonders for this team on the offensive side of the ball. And let's continue to harp on the defensive side of the ball with KCP and with this Magic team as a whole. KCP last season, according to ESPN stats and information research, as a defender, Contavious Caldwell Pope allowed a league best 40.6% field goal percentage as the closest defender last season on the wing over any other player in the NBA. This is a lockdown defender. And when I had the chance to talk to KCP at his media availability with the Orlando Magic, at the Advent Health Training Center. Here's what KCP had to say when I asked him about the potential of him and Jalen Suggs being the best defensive backcourt in the NBA this upcoming season. Here's what KCP had to say about that. I'm gonna go on and say it right now. We might be making it again together next year. So I do pride myself on that end. I think we're gonna be one of the best defensive backcourt teams in the league. And what he was referring to, was both him and Jalen Suggs making the all NBA defensive team next year after Jalen Suggs made his first one last season. I've talked about Contavious Caldwell Pope, his championship pedigree, his veteran leadership, and his ability to not only space the floor, but to continue to fit the identity of this team on the defensive side of the ball. You cannot convince me that Jalen Suggs and Contavious Caldwell Pope are not only gonna be one of the best defensive backcourts in the game of basketball, maybe alongside Drew Holiday and Derek White, maybe alongside Anthony Edwards and Jaden McDaniels, but you've still got legitimate defenders all over the place in Jonathan Isaac coming off the bench, which is a luxury. You've got Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner, guys who you know are more than capable of defending on the wing, and then you still look at your bench. You've got guys like Tristan Da Silva, if he can continue to get minutes. Let's take a look at Anthony Black and what he can do in his sophomore campaign as a versatile guard who can really lock down on the perimeter. And we saw how successful Orlando was last year when AB got his minutes. What if Jet Howard gets it going from three point range and he's the sniper that everyone expects him to turn out to be. There is so much depth and talent on this team Defensively, you know that they can match up with anybody. And if you expect, and I surely do, Franz Wagner and Paolo Bancaro to take another step this season, boy, you better watch out. This Orlando Magic team is going to be wreaking havoc. Now, the last major point I wanna make with this video, really how this Magic team can go from a playoff team to a contender is with one guy who I believe is the X factor with all of this, the heart and soul of this Orlando Magic team, and that's none other than Jalen Suggs himself. Jalen Suggs not only had a phenomenal third season in the NBA where his first two seasons were injury riddled, he struggled with his perimeter jumper, and Jalen Suggs really just could not get a rhythm going in the first two seasons of his career. Many people, not just Magic fans, were labeling him as a bust and as a guy to write off immediately, and did he prove himself in his third season in the league as a key and critical cornerstone piece to the Orlando Magic? To expect him to get a contract extension sometime this offseason. Not only was Jalen Suggs one of the best perimeter defenders in the game of basketball last season and the head of the snake, as many would say, for the defensive side of the ball of this Orlando Magic team, his ability to knock down jumpers from the perimeter of the season is what opened up the floodgates for his talent and for this Orlando Magic team. And when Jamal Mosley was asked about the exponential growth of Jalen Suggs on the offensive side of the ball, here's what Coach Mosley had to say about that. He stated, it goes into the body of work that he puts in. It goes into the belief and trust that these guys have in him, his confidence and what he is capable of doing. He put in a great summer. The game is slowing down for him in so many ways. And I think him being able to be confident in everything that he does and these guys having confidence in him. And even Jalen Suggs reiterated those same messages that Jamal Mosley had praised Jalen about. Here's what Suggs had to say about his offensive growth last year. He said, I just watch a lot of basketball. I think that's the big difference. I think that's a big difference. I watch a lot more hoop, not just our games, but every night NBA games, I'm tuned in. And I watch a lot of this dude right here, Franz Wagner, to be honest. I sat in their film session today, watching clips from the last game. 
the poise, the patience, the manipulation that he uses with his feet, with the ball, the eyes, you know? And I try to apply that. A lot of credit goes to those guys. They're continuing to make me better each and every day. And I say all of this because I truly and firmly believe that not only is Paolo Bancaro gonna play at an all-NBA level going into year three, not only is Franz Wagner gonna be a budding all-star, if Jalen Suggs can take another leap, offensively speaking, with his three-point shooting, getting downhill and playmaking for others as he is going to be your starting point guard for the Orlando Magic and still continue to have that defensive tenacity and intensity alongside Contavious Caldwell-Pope in the defensive backcourt, you know this Orlando Magic team is going to not only be a playoff team, they are going to be a contender in the Eastern Conference and you cannot convince me otherwise that they can't match up with the New York Knicks, with the Milwaukee Bucks, with the Philadelphia 76ers, and yes, even the best team in the NBA, and I give them their respect and their credit, the Boston Celtics. The Magic, they have young ascending stars, they have the head coach, they have a defensive identity, and they've now addressed it with getting guys that have championship pedigree, three-point shooting, and veteran leadership on this team, and Contavious Caldwell-Pope. This Magic team is poised for a huge 2024 season, and they're not just gonna be a playoff team, they're gonna be contending in the Eastern Conference with the best of the best. Magic fans and NBA fans, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the Magic not only being a playoff team this year, but then potentially making a deep postseason run in the Eastern Conference next year? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys did make it to the end of this video, I would like to say I've got some big personal news that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys here in the next week with Orlando Magic HQ. I'm very excited to kind of get the ball rolling and share with you guys some of the new changes that are coming with my role, with the position at Orlando Magic HQ. And of course, a lot more changes going on with Orlando Magic HQ. Our staff as a whole, the YouTube, social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, you name it. A lot of fun and exciting changes are coming to the network for you guys. So make sure that you guys do drop me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more of the content that we're gonna be producing here on YouTube and make sure that you guys go ahead and follow me, Brett James, and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials, especially on Twitter. The link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Magic fans, thank you guys again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, AKA BJ, I'm out y'all. And like always, let's go Magic.